Hey GearHeads, Jeff from Gear Report, and uh, we got another unboxing for you. A couple days ago, we did one uh, with a CMP field grade M1 Grand, and this time we've got also from the CMP, the Civilian Marksmanship Program, a service grade M1 Grand. So the box is still sealed up. You can see the seal at that end. Same thing at that end. I'm dying to know what I've got in here. And uh, by the way, wearing the Defender Ammunition shirt because I'm excited. Uh, my friends at Defender Ammunition, you know, we are on Team Defender. We're one of the um, sponsored, uh, honestly, everyone else is a sponsored shooter. They're competitors. We're review sites. We're kind of the oddball. But we love them for, for taking care of us in that regard. Uh, found out they're going to produce some 30 out 6 here pretty soon. So, grand food. Thank you, Defender Ammunition Company. Let's uh, let's get this cut open. All right, to do that, Spider Coat. Thank you for the uh, native. Is what they call this, Spider Coat native. Actually, really, really nice little folding knife. It's one of the ones they make in Golden, Colorado. And uh, the the my contact there at Spider Coat told me that uh, I want to say she said 27 percent of their knives are actually made in Colorado with some other models made in Japan and other kind of premium markets. Um, I think they have a, a kind of an entry level line that is done in China, but uh, this is one of the good US made ones. We appreciate that. Uh, it work out so far, it's done really well. All right, nothing else in the box. Let's get that out of the way. Here we have it. The CMP.org. It says it right there. Um, the envelope taped to the outside has in it uh, my receipt that you don't need to see. Personal information on there. Sorry, folks. Aha. Here we have the certificate. I'm going to block out the personal stuff there. You don't need to read that either. Sorry, I love you guys, but uh, give report nation. I don't love you that much. So, put those away. Let's see what we got in this bad boy. All right, so. Oh, 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 okay. This is cool. Wow, that is a sharp, sharp looking rifle. So, this is a 3 million series. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 3 million series Springfield. Uh, it's been reparked. Uh, this is all brand new wood. So if you are familiar with the way the CMP does this, that actually, I believe that's dry too. I don't think they put any oil or anything on it. Uh, folks, I gotta do some research and figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do. Leave the wood like this, put some sort of oil on it. If you know, let me know, all right? This is service grade, so often the service grades come with these new stocks. I'll show you the field grade in a second that I picked up uh, that, that came in. When did it come in? Today is Friday, the 27th, I believe, of May. And the field grade, they tried to deliver it the day we left for the NRA show on the 19th. I uh, put a vacation hold on it so that we could actually pick it up, uh, so they could deliver it uh, on Monday of this week. So Monday, got the field grade. Today, we got the service grade. Um, I'm kind of new at these, so I'm not sure what everyone wants to look at, but I'll just kind of put it in front of the camera and hopefully you'll see what you're looking for. Uh, it's kind of a shame they put this brand new wood on and it's already like dinged up here at the top and on the sides. Um, I, I got a feeling it, it uh, is going to require some sort of oil. Man, and there is a lot of stuff on here. The other one, very simple, it said in. 1SA-344. This has a, looks like a T, an upside down J, an R, SA-6535448, and then a little further it says 853, and then a space MD-35, uh, and then some sort of little circular cross canning cartouche, and it looks like maybe a P with a little ding mark in it. Let's see what's on the tag here. For the muzzle, we got a one plus. For the throat reading, a three. Uh, RMI service grade, 51916. In case you want to see the difference between a field grade and a service grade today, 
All right, you know, as of uh, the last week and a half, this one, it was a one plus and a four, I believe, one plus at the muzzle, four in the throat, and a reparked uh, 1.3 million range receiver. Stock is well worn, it's shiny, and it was a VFW post parade rifle, it appears the stock was. Uh, and I guess everything else is just a Franken gun, everything put together. This is one of the uh, aftermarket slings that you can get for like 10 bucks from the CMP. Um, so that's a field grade, this service grade. Similar rifle, brand new wood. And uh, I'm going to have to go through feature by feature. Everything on the service grade looks like it's in better shape. It has less wear on it, it has a better uh, finish on it, um, especially towards the muzzle. Everything out here looks like it's freshly coated or fairly close to it. Whereas on the field grade, we're, we're damn near in the white here on the end. It is, uh, the finish is worn off. And that's, uh, that's true of several things on the field grade. Uh, not true of what we see on the service grade. So, I don't know if this is worth your time and effort to look at or not. I hope so. hope you saw, especially if you're one of the people who is waiting on a rifle and you're curious, what am I going to get these days? Because the CMP, you know, the, what quality uh, should you expect when there's not much left in their inventory? Are we really getting the dregs here? So far, from what I've seen, this is the service grade is really nice. And if you like the worn look, the field grade uh, has got a little bit of that going on too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Visit us at Gear Report. It's gear-report.com. Thank you.